When you go to buy a car, buy a house, or get a loan, you have your credit score checked. And a lot of times the credit bureau behind your credit score is Equifax. Mm -hmm. Now, while many of you were dealing with the aftermath of Hurricane Irma, there was a, uh, a data breach happening with Equifax. It was a huge data breach, Allison, and this is where it really gets scary. With Equifax, the personal information of about 143 million Americans could have been exposed. Equifax blames the data theft on an unsecured web server. Now, since the breach, Equifax yes. is offering complimentary identity theft protection. Let me show you how it works. You can go to their website and click on the tab there. Then it takes you to a web page that shows Equifax's statement on the data breach. You may not notice at first, I had a hard time, but there is a slightly gray color that's in a tab right here. It takes you to a getting started page and you go from there. Now I put in my last name and then I put in the last six of my social security number. Now I read this. Based on the information provided, we believe that your personal information may have been impacted by this incident. Click the button below to continue your enrollment in Trusted ID Premier. Now, once I completed all of my information, this is what popped up on my screen, and it reads, we have successfully received and are processing your information. Now that you know how to better protect yourself in all of this, you're probably upset about the breach. So the credit agency says the company's chief information officer and chief security officer are retiring and would immediately leave the company. And get this, Bloomberg says the Justice Department has opened a criminal investigation into three Equifax executives who sold shares totaling nearly $2 million days after the company found out it had been hacked. The DOJ is looking into whether the executives broke insider trading laws.